The Bass B is the most broken gun in Call of Duty in all my days. I dropped some nasty MGBs, which this build is also meta in Warzone, so it doesn't matter the mode you're playing, you're going to be winning. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this is actually going to work in both the multiplayer and in Warzone. It does not matter what you are doing, you are going to be phenomenal with this build. It kills so quick, you're not going to be on the radar since we are going to be adding the monolithic suppressor. This is also going to add a lot of recoil control, or I guess not like a lot, but it is going to minimize it by about 5%, so it's not going to shake that much, making it a lot easier to use at like long range. Yes, we are going to be losing a decent amount of our ADS speed, but you guys are going to see we're going to have so much mobility that that's really not going to matter whatsoever. If it does annoy you, you could run the Shadow Strike Suppressor, but for me, I was finding that the Monolithic was a little bit better. And then another muzzle that I really do want to try on this build, I feel like it would be amazing, the Boar 490. So this one, yes, it does hurt the ADS speed, but that muzzle is already hurting the ADS speed, so it doesn't matter matter too much but with this one though we get a lot of recoil control so if you are struggling to use this build you shouldn't be struggling too much it does have a decent amount of recoil but overall it's pretty easy to use just in general though if you want the boar is going to be a very good muzzle i already know from just looking at those stats in this case though since i do want to be out the radar i'm going to be adding the monolithic we all know the master cameras look amazing in modern warfare 3 but they take hundreds of hours to get so if you want to save yourself some time i would definitely check out guapsi guapsi is a very reliable company who will play in your account and unlock anything you want with a very fast delivery time. They have been sponsoring me for a long time and I haven't seen a single negative review and so I would really check them out. I'll have their link in the description. For the next attachment, this is when people are going to be like, okay, I don't really trust you on the build. I don't really know what you're doing. I don't want to use this. I don't think it's that good, but you can't knock it till you try it. So we are going to be adding the light nine inch Bruin Wolverine short. I know it doesn't say Wolverine, but I don't care. This one's going to increase the mobility by a tut, allowing you to to be very aggressive with this gun. One big con of the Bass B is that there's a decent amount of recoil and there's not that much mobility. Yes, this barrel is going to be making the recoil control worse, but we are going to be getting a pretty big boost to our mobility, which doesn't look like that much, but an 8.7% to that sprint of fire speed is very big. You know what else is very big? My desk, you sick f Ah, you're teasing me, naughty, naughty. And so, and we are also going to be able to ADS a little bit quicker, kind of mitigating some of the cons from the muzzle. And now for the next attachment, we're going to furthermore bring up that mobility by going over to the underbarrel. And we are going to be adding the XRK Edge BW. No, we are not. We are going to be adding the hand stop, which the hand stop gives you a lot of mobility without really having any cons at all. We're only losing our hip fire spread and our tactical stance spread, which tactical stance don't do that. It does not help you whatsoever. And so now we are going to be able to move around the map about 5% quicker. We're also going to be able to sprint uh, sprint after fire after sprinting 9% quicker, really allowing you to play aggressive. And that's why I say this is more of like an SMG build. If you want to use that long range, stay tuned. I'll give you a variation of the build that it beams at long range. Really good long range build. Not necessarily for Warzone though. But uh, anyway, so for the next attachment, we are going to be adding a stock, which the stock that we're going to be adding is the no stock. When you first see it, you're like, damn, that thing murders the recoil control. We have 37% more recoil on the weapon. But trust me, a lot of mobility. Way faster sprint of fire speed. This is literally the best secondary or tied in with the Wasp Swarm if you are playing Warzone or even multiplayer. I've noticed that a lot of the metas, like whatever's meta in Warzone, is kind of meta in multiplayer as well. And so with the no stock, you're going to be able to play aggressive. You're going to be able to pop off. You're going to be able to feel very fluid. It's going to be like if Usain Bolt and the Flash had a baby. I don't know how that's possible, but if they did, that's the Bass B. And oh, so, you know, a little fun fact. If you don't know, if you pack a bunch of this thing in zombies, it's actually called the Sea Bass. We do not care. Next attachment is going to be a personal prep thing. Also, I guess the hand stop could be a personal preference thing. The main part of this build is to have a muzzle, which you want to run the bore or the monolithic. You want to run this barrel or this barrel, and then you want to have the no stock. And that is going to be basically the main part of the build. What you guys could also do, I guess, if you if the recoil is too hard for you guys to control, you could add the ravage. The ravage is pretty good for this gun, but then I would just use the other build I'll be giving you guys. But okay, anyways, I'll stop yapping. So if you want to add an optic, I would go over to the optic, obviously, and then I would add the slave reflector. Cronin and to last, I gotta show you guys this thing real quick. This optic is so sick. I absolutely love it. Yes, there's a laser on your gun, but it's so fire looking. I love this optic. And so that is a pretty good one. Slate Reflector is a very good option. Or you can run the MK3 Reflector or the NIDAR Model Pro, NIDAR Pro Model 2023. That's a pretty good one. This build right here is pretty nasty. If you want to run a laser, honestly, I'll just run the other optic. But OLE laser is going to be the best one. If you want to have a lot of stability, 
basically giving you a very predictable recoil. It's not going to be swaying at all in the gunfight and you get some mobility, which is pretty nice. If you want to increase the ammo, you guys can add the uh, high grain rounds. That's going to increase the damage range by a decent amount. Yes, it does hurt the recoil control, which is why I'm not going to be running them, but they are still a pretty good option. If you are playing Warzone, Hollow Point is a very good option since it does take a little bit longer to kill the enemies. So this would actually slow down the enemies, making it a little bit easier to track the enemy and make it harder for them to run away from you. So Hollow Point's pretty good for that. And then, um, oh, also, if you want to add a uh, recoil control to your gun, sorry if this is a little bit confusing. I'll make it very simple at the end when I show you guys the screenshot, but the Bruin Heavy support grip, this one adds a lot of recoil control without really hurting the ADS speed that much. This is also, that's also a very good underbarrel if you want that recoil control. If you want to add more recoil control, you can also add the STT88 grip. It's just going to add recoil control. And uh, that recoil gun kick is basically the smoothness of your recoil. Now the recoil with this gun is going to be very smooth. And this also adds a lot of firing aiming stability. So now the gun is not going to sway mid gunfight when you fire on the gun, which that is very important. What I'm going to be rocking though is a magazine since we are going to be blowing through ammo. 30 round mag I noticed for multiplayer on like an average map is a lot better. If you are on meat grinding that meat or you're on Warzone, you might want to run the 45 round mag since it does take some extra bullets to kill. And on meat, there's just so many engagements to where you kind of need to run the 45 round mag. And you guys are going to see reload very slow, but you're going to be able to clutch up so much more often since you're going to have a lot of ammo. And so if you guys do want to take a screenshot of the build, uh, here is the screenshot. If I can find this thing right here. Yo, and the only thing I ask in return is a like on the video. And if you want to get better at Call of Duty, make sure you guys hit the mother freaking subscribe button. If you guys are curious of my secondary, we got the Renetti right here. I run this in every single video. One day I'll mix it up for you guys. I think my next one, I'll probably add the Akimbo. The Akimbo is pretty nasty. A uh, scavenger just so it's easier to get nukes. If I'm not running scavenger, since I am you're running this thing like an SMG, I'm going to be adding the assault gloves. Um, trophy system pretty good on these uh, high engagement maps or just, you know, you can use which everything you want. Some text stim are always the thing I'm going to be rocking. Covert sneakers so the enemies don't hear where you're coming from and coming with an O. And then uh, lightweight boots and stalker boots are also pretty good if you are on a map like um, Shipman or Rust where the footsteps don't really matter. Me, I know his footsteps actually do matter a little bit. And then EOD just because we all get spammed by nades. Ghost is also a pretty good option. Same attack mask. And now let's get into the nasty gameplay that you don't want to miss. I'm serious. Nasty gameplay. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, I don't mean to land the same joke, but we just landed on some meat. Oh, sh**. Here we go again. Yo, this class is a little bit hard to use for some of you. But for a lot of... Oh, it's too too time to kill at times. I hate it. But at times... Oh, fuck. Oh, it doesn't make sense. Why are they there when they shouldn't be there? I don't get it, but I'm going to get an MGP. Bro, I've been pretty good at those. I don't get it, but I'm going to get an MGP. <laughs> Wait. That was a little weird. I, I don't know what's going on right there. We're going to pre-nade that. We're going to take that man out. We only got seven shots. I thought I reloaded yesterday. So the 45 round mag takes two business days to reload. This thing takes so freaking long. Other than that, great build. <laughs> what are you doing? You got to run around the map, my man. What? I don't, I don't get that at all. I was like, it's like I'll be beaming like crazy, and then all of a sudden I'll be missing like crazy, and I don't get it. Bro, these spawns are insane. That's kind of like why I like this map, but it's also why I despise this map. So I have a very toxic relationship with this map, but I got an advanced UAV, so these enemies are going to have a toxic relationship with me. They're going to be so pissed off. Uh, I'm just going to know exactly where, I'm, where they're at. They probably think I'm hacking low-key. Bro, you dead? What the f- Bro, the reload takes too long. Honestly, if you want, you could throw on like the 30 round mag and you'd probably be perfectly fine. I was just playing some meat and so- Well, I knew we were going to be playing some meat, so I was like, I know every engagement can be so insane, like fast paced where I'm going to need all the ammo in the world. No, even then, I'm not going to have enough ammo. Dude, fuck, why did- There's always that one off guy that just goes a different way than the whole crowd. Okay, this is actually very dumb for me to push because I have no ammo. Oh, I can hide up here. I forgot about this. Okay, so they're all going on the little flank. But we'll see this man. Why do you got to go over here? Why do you got to mess up the whole flow and go that way? Then there's this man too. Dude's changing the trash and then he realized he was in war. It just popped the squat. Bro, this class is crazy. 
Advanced UAV on station? Oh, out of station. You know what else is out of station? My sex life. Call of Duty is taking over. YouTube grinding too much. We're all good, though. Oh, my fucking aim, I guess, left the station, too. What the fuck? What is that? That, that literally is illegal. I thought they banned that spot already. Well, imagine, imagine I die right there on like a 26. I know I just passed a man. Or, or, or uh, a female, possibly, or non, non-binary. We don't assume genders. We instantly know genders. He was back. He was like, I remember what you did to me on my first life when I was a newborn. Then we took him out. Okay. Bro, why is there so many grenades over here? MG, motherfucking B. Let's go, boys. Leave a like and subscribe. We're on our way to 100,000 subscribers. And so if you want to get better at the game and you want to help me get laid, hit the subscribe button down below. Let's freaking go. Also, a like is appreciated. It doesn't really do anything, but it looks cool. Oh, what well, dude just got domed. Oh my god, his head just blew up. Dude, I might, might do a slow-mo of that. No. Eh. We go crazy. I already have the MGB, so now I'm just going to go for his spawn traps. See how many kills I can get in here. We are going to go absolutely crazy. We are going to get nasty. Shit. Okay. All the enemies are on C. We're just running back and forth, back and forth, around town, around town. If the enemy is not a heady, it's a little bit hard to hit them. But as long as you're playing aggressive and using this thing like an SMG, overall, you should be able to pop off. I probably did give you guys a couple of variations of some other builds, but this is definitely my favorite build right now and my favorite gun in the game. One of my favorite guns in COD. Dude, no! There we go. All my days, all my days. We only got 14 more shots. We're going to climb through that little window. I'm surprised my ass can fit through there. All my days. Bada beam, bada boom. Yo, if you ever want to see my gameplays live, check out my kick. I stream on there almost daily, and I stream on YouTube a lot. Start on YouTube, and then we go over to kick for a little bit. Just because on kick, I don't really have a following, so go follow my ass so then, you know, I can, you know, I can stream on one, the one platform and then stream on the other platform. I try to do both right now because, not multi-stream, but I start on one and then merge over to the other. Okay. Woo, baby, let's go. We're on a 10. Can we get another nuke? Can we get another freaking nuke? Let's call this Vito. I know I haven't been using the streaks. I think after this game or the next game, I should have my, my wasp a swarm. And I really want to... Ah! I really want to use my wasp swarm. I mean, wait, not the wasp swarm. I want to use the swarm. That new kill streak. It just takes a long time to unlock. And I just was unlocking some other things. No, teammate. Shoot the Benjito, Garrett. To check out this nasty MGB. Dude, I've been pretty good at those little transitions, you know, transition. Oh my days. Get the nice little inspect with the interstellar. It's looking too nasty. Easy nukes. You know, people get mad when I say nasty. They're like, why do you have to say it like that? I'm like, you want me to just like take out my vocal cords and just get some new ones? What do you mean? Why do I say it like that? That's my voice. Boom, you did. Anybody else want to die? Anybody dying today? Or not? Oh, you wanna die? There we go. Oh, oh, buddy thinks he can hit the movement, but he forgot I had the bass B. Buddy forgot I had the bass B. You know, if you pack a punch this gun in zombies, it's actually called the sea bass. We do not care. Okay, someone could also let me know in the comments. Dude, okay, imagine if you guys left a comment for every time I said, like, let me know in the comments. Dude, there'd be an essay from everybody in the comments, but. If someone could let me know, what's it called when you have, like, a smooth transition? Like, if you say, like, say you're about to do a brand deal. And, like, a brand deal about, um, condom. Oh, shit. No, okay, condoms. Uh, actually, I don't even know. Basically, when you have a smooth transition, is there a word for that? Can you just hop out of the water, my man? I was gonna have a pretty good example, but I gotta keep it PG-13. Okay, bitch, come over here. Oh, I get laid out, motherfucker. Let's go. Ah! I think there's another guy there. 
Bro, I feel like they should nerf this pistol so then the other pistols get some light. But, like, I really hope they don't nerf it because it's such a fun gun to use. I get reload after all that time. I didn't reload. Okay. Yo, dude, okay. I didn't know you could hop on that red fire hydrant. Yo, I feel like we're just going around sound over and over. No one's capturing B. And then we capture C. And then we capture A. And then the enemies follow us. And it's just a back and forth, back and forth. I feel like a dog chasing his tail. Oh, whoa. I shut him down. Okay. We're on the 10, boys. It's going to be a slow nuke, but a nuke is a nuke. I got to detox your guys' dopamine from that last game. There was just so much going on in that last game that I got to, you know, bring you guys down a little bit. Get that TikTok bring it out of there. Oh, follow my TikTok. I think I'm shadow banned on there, but follow my TikTok. Can you not melee me? That was an insane stutter. That was so bad. You know what's crazy is I have like a speech impediment. And like my job is to speak. It doesn't even make sense. That's crazy. And some people would think I don't even have one, but it's because you know, practice makes perfect and all my fucking god, I gotta run, I gotta go, I gotta go. See you later. Do that, that guy has to go too. He just kept on running, he could have killed me. But he was like, nope, I gotta go. We're gonna get this guy out of the back. Watch him like actually be playing. He just locks onto my head. Dude's a crazy hacker or something. A crazy Russian hacker. If you know, you know. Bro, I've been I've been pretty witty today. I don't mean to toot my own horn. But I've been tooting a lot. Wait, no, I no, I have not been tooting a lot. Usually, yes, but today I haven't taken my protein shake yet, which I need to take my protein shake. Bro, just chow me. Oh, this guy's probably Latin. That's why he's not showing me. And not Latin as like the race Latin. It's just an inside joke with uh the stream people. See, if you, if you watch the streams, you would know who, what I'm talking about. But if you don't watch the streams, I was going to call you a loser. But then I thought that maybe would not get people to watch the streams if I start calling you guys losers for not watching them. But kind of a loser if you don't watch them. Okay. Wait, okay. Imagine like someone always gets bullied in school every day. He just gets called a loser. He's like, oh, CBS uploaded. Finally, my break from life. And then I call him a loser too. <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, yo, we're capturing every flag, and I don't know where I called in this veto, and I feel like I'm going to get blown up. I saw Adam, and I knew life was going to be okay. I knew I was going to be safe. So it seems like the enemies are on A, I think. Shit. Oh, he still can use it at long range. Look at that, boys. But not super long range. This is the SMG build. Where are they at? Yo, let me know in the comments. Where are these enemies at? Oh, I found them, boys. Whoo, baby, let's go. Yo, I sound like my mom's huskies. Yo, huskies are crazy. You already know what I'm gonna say. Let me know in the comments if you have a husky. Cause those, those things, those huskies are not dogs. Those are not even animals. That's like a different species. Unclassified. I feel like I just freaking gave birth, dude. My water just broke all over the enemy. I got him so wet. If you want to get... Wait, no. I was going to say something really bad, but... I don't know. I'll save it for a different video, maybe. I'll save it for the OnlyFans. And what's funny is I could say that and people genuinely think I have an OnlyFans. Like, no! Do I really got to disclose that I don't have an OnlyFans after making an OnlyFans joke? Like, the joke would be funny if I didn't have to dis- if it, Fuck! Disclaim that! And we got to an MGB! I was gonna have a great transition into the MGB from that sentence. But then... Freaking stutter, dude! Bro, hello? Oh, there we go! Fry balls? I'm about to fry his balls with this MGB. Ooh. 178. 113. I don't know why I said that. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know what to say, so I just start saying random things. But then a lot of you guys are probably like, just don't say anything. All you do is talk in the gameplay. Shut the f up. Bro, this night, I mean, this, uh, Red Nutty is so nasty. See, like, right there. There's no need for me to say that. But I just have the urge to say something. 
something. Oh, I had it again, damn it. Okay, I don't want this game to end, but I gotta end it. Okay, guys, I think it is time to turn the whole enemy team into a bunch of panchitos. Remember, it means fried peanut. We're gonna fry all of them. We're gonna turn them into fried peanuts. That's funny. But where is this dude sniping me from? Yo, it's time to get nuked, dude. It's time to get nuked. Are you out of here? Anybody else wanna die? Oh, I got a veto. Oh, MGPs. Let's go. Oh my days. That's a wrap, boys. Yo, they're all a bunch of prunes. Bunch of panchitos. Let's freaking go, boys. Yo, see us on YouTube. Subscribe. Leave a like. They didn't say anything. I thought they were going to say something.